Hold on. I don't even think I can even continue to edit this video unless I say something about this. Do you see how unhealthy I look in this photo right here? This was right in the prime of, like, my leg is finally healing and I'm going to be able to start working out again. And right here is a little more deeper into that because I hurt my neck and stuff like that. But goodness, you can see I'm making a change. Look, I, I look like I'm on death row right here. <laughs> goodness. All right. That's all I want to say. So, welcome back. We're going to be playing... We're going to be continuing Skyrim. I actually just want to play that game all the way through before I even continue Wolfenstein or The Sinking City. I got pretty far into Wolfenstein, though. I don't want to say any spoilers because I don't know when I'm going to put the Skyrim videos mixed into there, but I'm assuming that this one will be at a certain point where it's fine. However, let's get started. I got this hand wet with an apple, so we're just going to click Skyrim with my other hand for now. Yeah, this is the next day. I just woke up a little while ago, and I may not have drank that much yesterday. It was just seven, seven shots. It was seven, but I took a few off stream. I took seven on, or on, I, I don't know why I'm saying stream, but to me it was like a stream. It's my own little offline stream, and then I'll just make videos on it later. But, um, so if I think about it, how many, how many did I drink? I, I I'm just going to round it to 12, so I'm, I don't want to add it up. I took 12 shots, and now we're here the next day. I'm feeling good. No hangover. No nothing. We got my new headphones going. I'm testing them out currently. What is it? And this is this is gonna be nice. I I love this new headset right here. So we have to go find Esmond in Riften. And then after that, um, I might talk to Parthenax. I don't know. I don't remember the order of events in this game. And then uh, we'll go to the Blades Temple. Or we go to the Blades Temple and then I go talk to Parthenax. And then other events fold. Because then I'm going to have to call a dragon. And ride a dragon to a new area. And then after that, that like kind of spins everything into order of events to fight. So we'll see. Now we could go get some steel armor with the white run glitch. Or I could take her steel armor. Now the main reason I'm not playing yet is because this apple is so good and I'm just enjoying it. And if I don't edit these, they're going to be an hour long. I realized that each time I played it was like for an hour. That was weird. Time went by really fast yesterday, I guess. I'm going to be honest. I'm sitting here watching this right now. <laughs> and I'm totally not trying to freak out. Because I can't stand it. Anything. Maybe my blood pressure is just a little high. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching through my Oakmont first video that I just released here today. That I filmed a long time ago. I decided not to do my stream today so I could edit this. And I just can't stand. I know I need to work on my jawline a little bit because I haven't worked out in a little bit. Which I can sharpen that up real fast because I, I have a nice jawline. It's just a, And plus this camera angle doesn't look that good. It, my, my, chin, my, my jawline looks fine from all the angles I can see from like mirrors and stuff. From any view I can get with my eyes unless I like purposely give myself a double chin. I didn't work on that a little bit. Now just remember I, I still haven't worked out too much yet but I've, I've been going for a bit. I have good muscle memory everywhere. I'm watching this and I'm just like, I just can't stand it. I look uglier than ugly right here. It could be because something bad happened that made me absolutely not like beards at all anymore. Something like that. No, I don't know if that's actually the case. Something like that. Something similar to that. Bad memory. Okay? And all it does is remind me now and now I just can't stand it. Even the shape of my face looks different. Like if I took my hat off right now, I don't think I look anything like that right now. I don't know how... I would, okay... Th this, I was drinking pretty heavily here too, though, so there, there is that too. There is that too. I just got done drinking heavily. I thought I went to sleep for a whole day. I didn't I actually only slept for two hours and thought it was a whole night, and I thought it was the next day. So that's why I started drinking again later that day, and that's how the podcast things came out to be. I only did one of those. Now, don't judge me on some of the things I say in there because on my podcast because I was drunk, and, I, I, and there's been a lot of changes. 
I've been going through lately. So, yeah, this, this what I'm saying is this is all old content, and I, I have been changing quite a bit recently, and I just want to say that I'm still going to post these and make videos on it, because I still think they're interesting ideas, and things that I say when I, I'm not really talking about the podcast thing, but, um, yeah, and when I start making these videos, my commentation is going to be a whole lot different, as you can tell with how I'm talking right now, and that's only because now I'm actually warmed up, and I kind of got through the phase that I was in right there, where I was, like, kind of dead, and dying, and decrepit, decrepit, whatever you want to say, and now, <laughs> I found life again, and pain, and suffering, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all I wanted to say because I needed to get some emotions out while watching this, and I I, I, don't, I don't I don't even know why I'm adding this part, but I'm adding this part. Okay, I just I'm trying I'm trying to get through this. I don't even know if I want to put music over it. I don't know. There's just so many different songs I could find, and songs that fit, and songs that don't fit, and like I don't know if I need music sometimes, and sometimes I don't. Music's the toughest part for me to put in these. Okay, that's all I want to say. I try to be fast. Uh, we're at 679 subscribers. We'll be at a thousand at some point. It'll be exciting. All right, adios, amigos. Okay. Hold on. I'm, the 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 water from the apple just wants to stick to my hands. Dry up hands. Why won't my hands be dry? <sighs> Could be because they're a little bit cold. Are they sticky? I don't know. All that apple is the spot, though. That hit of the spot. Just the casual little cello in the background. I think that might be a cello. I'm not certain. Hold on. Let me rub my hands together really hard. All right. Let's get this party rolling. Here we are. I didn't even realize we were here. I mean, just look how nice the graphics are on this game. They're not bad. I've never really uh played the new like the highest end version of graphics you could get for vanilla Skyrim before, so it's interesting seeing it. It is nice. But Skyrim's always been a good looking game for the most part. There's been it's had its ups and downs, but uh you know, not bad. And I believe we already got this place discovered, yes. Now, the first time I ever did this quest I was lost down there for so long. I probably spent like eight hours trying to figure out how to get through that area. I don't care about your tax, sir. Persuade, it's obviously a shakedown, buddy. Yeah. Imperials? Just one Imperial's like, I'm gonna take on your whole castle. Bro, balls of steel. Balls of steel to just attack like that. Their sword does more damage. I always had an affinity to that sword right there. It's just a nice, solid sword with how it looks. One of my favorite swords. One of them. It's not the favorite, but it's it, it's definitely a good... It's my favorite early sword. The dragon bone sword, I think, is definitely my the favorite. And the night blade, night nightingale blade is pretty cool too, and the dawn keeper's a cool blade as well. I guess there's a lot of cool blades. I hear, I always like this girl right here. You see her? You see her? A warrior, strong. <laughs> this one right here's a snake in the grass. Why am I going in here? The bee and barb, what's in here that's so important? Am I meeting someone in here? Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, Goodbye. I could take a hint, lad. 
You want to make never do space work in your life for all that coin you carry. Oh. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Let me find him first. Dragons are bad for business. <laughs> Yo, I did, I've never actually gone to this guy first before like this. This is weird. Okay. Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. Until next we meet, Lyle. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some Okay, what do I have to do then if you want to be a douchebag then? I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see. I'll be out of me. Okay. If you've still got the stomach for it. I, I love the Thieves Guild and I used to just always do it. I used to just sit there and just grind out all the quests for them. Just keep doing them over and over and over and over again. And I had so much gold it was absolutely insane. But I don't think I could ever sit through that again. I had my fill of enjoyment. FOV. One. What? Oh my goodness. Nope, that is not the right button. Whoops. FOV 115. There we go. That's neat. Um. One, two, three. I don't know why my guy just wanted to run like this. I don't know what some of the buttons do on this game still. And I do think dragons are bad for business, so I don't know what this guy's problem is. Do you want me to You're going to Ben, when you have the ring, you we've been good now. Since we're not the dark brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prison. Go. What wasn't I clear about? Don't- Why is this guy being a douchebag to me right now? He's always seemed kind of nice to me, and now, now he's... Mr. D-bag? Okay, lad. Ready to make some- Trying to force me to do something I don't even want to do? Medessa's ring. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some Okay. Let's get this party started. Go on, Brinoff. Bjorn Brinoff. I remember you used to be able to get caught while sitting here doing this. Like, the world kept moving around you, but I feel like they changed that at one point. Oops. And now, let's quick save real quick, just to confirm that if I fell, I can just quick load, put it into Branchy's pocket. Okay. You know what? You want to talk to me like that? Where's this ring? Medessa's ring. Medessa's ring. And just like that, cakewalk. I did it before you even really did a great big distraction. But never mind. All right. The group I get that in one piece. We'll see if you know what it takes. All right. I'll entertain you. Looking for an old guy. I bet I know your guy. He's hiding yeah. in the Rathway Warrant. Paying us good coin for nobody to know about. Come back when you grow. Backbone. Come back when you grow a backbone? Like, why, why does he keep doing that to me? You see what I mean? 
Dang it. Well, my little dog Onyx just had to come in my room, didn't she? Now you're going to start hearing her barking in the background. If I ignore her, you're going to start hearing her barking at my kitty if she sees him. It's your fault for coming in here, Onyx. I'm not going to reopen the door for you. No, no, no. No. You're not going to be a bad dog. You might be tiny. You might be the tiniest dog we own. The absolute tiniest, sweetest little teeny puppet dog that we have. But I will not. I will not stand idly by while you just do what you want. All right? And right here, boom, done, gonzo. I'm the Dragonborn. It's me, it's not no one else. You may have played Skyrim before and thought you were the Dragonborn, but no, I am the Dragonborn. An orcish bow. I noticed that early on orcish bows do less damage than when you unlock them later on, like there's two different variants. So this orcish bow does 11, this does 8, so then I'm going to grab this and favorite this. Of course the steel mace is going to do more. It still says my steel axe will do more. Weird. Than the imperial thing. Weird. I don't know why I switched then. That doesn't even make sense. Her name is Onyx, but I like to call her little Ani. Oh my goodness, an expert lock. Oh my goodness, only got 23 lock picks. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh my goodness, I know it's right there actually. It might not be, hold on. Easy. Easy. Okay? I might not be experienced with the mouse and keyboard variant of doing things. You know what I think? You're just a low-life orc. That's right. Get slapped. Yeah. A yeah yeah. I'll grab your 30 gold, partner. Increase my pickpocketing. I'd like to get my pickpocketing to max. It'd be fun. Where's the le- oh. Might as well pop that lever and then we're just gonna kinda speed run to him. It's just crazy that I got stuck down here for so long. I just kept going in circles and I was like getting a headache because when I do that it starts making me get sweat and like... It's like if you lost the remote and you can't find it. Whenever you're looking for something and you can't find it and you're really looking for it like hardly... It just- you start get- you get this, this weird sick feeling. And that's what happened to me when I was stuck down here. I'm just like, I can't figure it out. I've took this left turn nine times and it still hasn't done nothing. Oops. Get him, Lydia. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Lightning's not going to affect me. I don't even use magic, Mr. Wizard. Get clapped. Oh. Oh, Lydia. I, I told you to get him, but... Dang. Dang. That was harsh. That was harsh. Oh yeah, you want to use a little ghost sword, huh? You want to use a little ghost sword? This is what I think. Get slapped. Are you going to ever see me use my shield? Probably not. I just hog this weapon and the shield never does anything for me. There we go. I used a shield once. Are you happy? It didn't really do nothing. You just sit there and slap until they get bapped. You know what I'm saying? I am thinking about going clean shave though. Really am thinking about it. Oh yeah, I'm really thinking about it. I'm really still thinking about it, buddy. Yeah, keep thinking, buddy. Keep thinking. Yeah, you better think a little harder. You better you better just do it today, okay? Just don't don't even wait, okay? Thank you for even having that thought in your little mind of yours there, partner. I always thought I remembered a heavy armor variant of this. Oh, they killed this poor little Nord with a necklace. Dang. Imperials are just... 
liberal Nords. Right? <laughs> my dog won't stop licking my foot. I understand, little Onyx. I understand. You just love me. It's okay. It's just, you know... Oh. Oh, these little boxes. See these little chests right here? <clears throat> these little chests have always fantasized me. Because they're like little toy boxes. I remember when I first saw them, I was just... I don't know. These these boxes made me happy. This is the area I was stuck in. I was stuck like right here where I'm at right now. I couldn't figure out how to get out. And I was doing circles and I kept running into this room. And this is also... this One of these chests, it was the locked one was the first time I ever seen dwarven armor. And I got the gold chest piece, and I'm like, what is this? Golden armor? I was so excited. I was like, this has got to be the best armor in the game. And when I was younger, I guess dwarven armor was my favorite. Until I eventually seen Daedric armor, and then that became my favorite. And then around the PS4 generation, way later on in the years when I was a teenager, my uh, favorite armor evolved into light dragon bone. I just love that armor now. Oh, I was hoping to level up. Little Onyx. Little Ani Ani. Little Ani. Little Ani. <laughs> I, can, I can hear her footsteps. She's bouncing off the walls when I start saying stuff like that. Little Ani. Little onion. <laughs> little onion. I'm gonna call her a little onion. Where are you at? Let me see. Let me see your face when I call you a little onion. Oh, can I show? I wanna show them to you. I wanna show them to you. Here you are. Little onion. Oh. She's like a little teeny Doberman. Oh. Hey, yes. little onyx. Yes. Probably can't even see her because she blends in with my shirt. Yes. Bucket. Oh. Yes. I know. I know you're happy. No. I know you're happy. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. You know what? If you're happy, what do you wanna do? Because you're squirming a lot. Investigate. You are blacker than black. Ink pot stone. You make my robes look gray. Book. Knife. My little baby on me. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to the side a little bit so people can see you a little easier. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 I know, I know you're happy. Hold on, let me turn on this light. <laughs> no. Look at this sweet little thing. And she's tiny. Tiniest one. Look the other way. Why are you looking that way? See that? She's a little. She she looks like a little teeny Doberman or a little Hellhound. Isn't that right, my little Ani? Oh. Oh. If I don't give her attention, she likes to sit there and bark at me and chase me. And uh, let me turn this off because it's blinding me now. And you're just a little lover, Ani. Yes, you are. Are you a lover? Are you a little lover? Hi. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit nervous to be around my table because I don't think I've never really held her right here before. Bucket. Yes. Is that right on? Ink pot. What are you doing? No. Is this different? Is this different than one? Oh. She also likes to like grab with her paws like this and start sinking her teeth in so I can't get away. They don't want to run me over, watch out. Run away. But yeah, that was a little onyx. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Esmond. Go away. And I came down here and got lost before I had to do this quest, so he just always told me to go away. Esbern, open the door, I'm a friend. No, that's not me. I'm not Esbern. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay, Delphine sent me. Well, Belle Delphine didn't really send me, but let's let's see what happens if I say the Thalmor one. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you're with the Thalmor. Well, this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? Delphi needs your help to stop the dragons. I'm with the blades, the Thalmor, and the Ratway. 
Remember the 30th Frostfall. <clears throat> I lost my voice there for a second. <laughs> Started speaking in dragon. I do remember. Delphine Rill is alive. You'd better come in then and tell me how you found me and what you want. This will just take a moment. This one always sucks. There we go. Only a couple more. Okay, how many more? This is turning into my bedroom door is what this is turning into. There we are. Come in, come in. I always like seeing how many he has. Look at that. All of those. A metal door. Daedra. Chest here. I'll take whatever I want. I don't really care. So oh, hey, Esbern. Thank you. Huh? That's good. Thank you. Love you. If you want to, yeah. That confused me. I didn't realize I was looking up. Oh, wait, you... Never mind. Thalmor have found you. We have to get you out. What do you mean it's hopeless? We'll say that. What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his heart, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. <coughs> yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Oh yes, it's all been foretold. The end has begun. All dread has returned. Only a dragon boy can stop. No dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of all dwind the world. It's not hopeless, Esbern. I'm dragonborn. What? <laughs> He's so excited about that. Oh my goodness. His eyes open like ten feet bigger. Then there is hope. The gods have not Pretty accurate must, measurement, ten feet. We must go quickly now. Take me to Delphi. We have much to discuss. What do you mean? Just a moment. I must gather the I mean they no. No use for scratching here. Where have I put my annotated annual? So, oh, I've been really wanting some of those. It's so good. Some waffles. Now, you can get multiple followers in Skyrim with no mods. It just takes a little molding. So, a lot of people, I don't, well, I don't, I actually don't know. I didn't do no research on it, but. I've always seen a lot of mods for multiple followers and such. But you can just simply, um... Why are they here? Why are they here? You can simply just do certain quests where people follow you, like when Bell and him start following you. And that will already stack up to three with Lydia. And then you can do a mission where, uh... There's just a bunch of different missions in this game where someone will follow you and your follower. And you can just stack them up. And just have like a whole army of followers. And it's more than what you could do in a mod, like just a base mod that lets you have more followers. Because, um, you can get people that aren't, oh. I was trying to turn down the volume. I 
That was weird. I was sitting there looking for the cord, and I'm like, I don't have a cord. Little Onyx, no, no. No, no, little Ani. No, no, little Ani. I might have to let her out. Let's go and uh, bring him back to little Delphin. Little Delphin. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hot. Still cringing, though. All right, anyways. Let's see here. Little boxes. See, I don't know how I got lost in here so hard. I think it's because I never lowered that one bridge, so I just always kind of fell down, or like, I was like, okay, where do I go? And then maybe jump down there. I didn't know what was going on. And I, I, I just got looped in here for ages. But I just, I didn't, my, uh, when I, I was so little when, the, when I was playing this that I just couldn't. And on the PS3 graphics, it was so dark, you couldn't see anything. Oh, uh, it was just a nightmare. It was just a nightmare. I only ever one time got stuck in here like that. Only other times I've been stuck is when I go into the underdark or whatever you want to call it. But I don't really get stuck in there anymore either. That little baby Doverman. She's a teeny little Doverman. Onyx, are you just a little sweetie pie honey bun? Sugar pie. <laughs> She's coming over now. What is that underdark called? Underground mushroom forest? It's like aberration. I really like it down there. I kind of want to go down there now. I used to hate it down there. I always hated underground stuff. But that place has grown on me a little bit just because I like aberration from arc oh I can't even talk about aberration I just I like it but I've only ever played it played that map like twice for like realsies every other time I play I give up after a little while but it's such a good mapper if you actually do get settled there's not very many good spaces for a base really in my opinion on that map but it's just a nice map to be in and walk around my goal is always just to get Get a fancy ghillie suit and sneak around the map and explore. But, you know, can't always be doing that. Once we get in here, I'm going to let a little Onyx out. She probably doesn't want to hang out in here the whole time. Even though she would love I know you would. Oh my goodness, she's sitting right there staring right at me. She's just wanting attention. Let me see. Hi. It's good to see you too. Here we go. Hi, little baby. Too long. Oh. Too long. Hey. Well, then. You made hey, it safe and sound. Good. good. Oh, Come on. Okay. I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Hold the bar for a little bit, will ya? Look at us. All four of us just going into the same room. All the villagers are like, what the heck are they planning? They'll never know. They'll never know. I just want the gold. Here, take some wine, Lydia. I think you need it. I think you need it. Well, Esbert, I feel like these two characters right here couldn't be the most, uh, could be the most annoying characters in the entire game of Elder Scrolls. I just think these are the dumbest two people in the entire game. I do. Now then. It's like Hansel and Gretel, but dumber and dumber. Dumber and stupider and stupider and dumber. It just reflects off of each other. This changes everything, of course. I mean, IQ only drops once they find each other. It dropped when they found the Dragonborn, and it just continues to drop every time they do anything else. Give me just. Ah, here it is. Right here. See right here. Okay, so the Elder Scrolls Annals of the Dragon Guard 2800 to 2819. Oh, this is the future. So in about 800 years, there'll probably be like maybe some nukes that hit, and it reshapes the world, and Skyrim will become real. Weird. All right. Once upon a time, there was. Oh, thank you. Sky you take your Haven book back. Temple, constructed around one of the main Akabiri military camps in the Reach. During their conquest... I could leave this on. It's not wired. It's so nice to be able to stand up freely. 
RC, I like the colors. Not lost. Just the blades are blue, red, and black, my three favorite colors. But blue's the classic. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yeah. But no guarantee. Skyhaven Temple. There's time for me to upload one of my videos, but I will wait for now. I know the area of the reach that Esprin's talking about. Near what's now known as Carth Spire in the Carth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Okay. What's the best way to get in there? I'll meet you at Cath Spire. Let's travel together. You ready to go? Okay. Well, what is the best way? I'd like to actually hear what the best way is because it's always a nightmare getting there as well. My power just flickered. Road south through Fall Creek is the most direct route. Or you could catch the carriage from White Run to Markarth and then approach from the west. Either way, the reach is wild country these days. The Forsworn are everywhere. Always. Let's go see if we can find this sky hidden temple. So we can travel together. Can I do it? Can I just follow her or will they I think they'll follow me eventually? It could be a good journey. But I feel like right here is a good endpoint. Let me see. If I pull out my weapons. I do feel like this is a good endpoint. I need to go check the power thing that got that has me distracted now. Are they following me? Yeah, look, I have three followers. They might not be followers I can order around, but they're followers nevertheless. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I know it's a little bit different because I'm not drinking now, and the first half of this series is going to be that. But I am not going to hurt myself to continue drinking for this series. Even though I didn't really drink as much as I normally would on my drink day because I also stayed up and I was sleepy, but it was relaxing. And um, I'm happy. And that's why, that's why I was saying, you gotta drink responsible. Don't do it just to do it. Only do it. If you need it you most likely don't so i hope you guys all enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new, and adios amigos